In order to start the building code analysis, the first issue to be clarified would be what? So uh, clearly, programming, planning, and practice is going to be a lot of questions that are going to be about zoning codes, building codes, these kind of things that you would need to uh, do analysis of in order to be able to do some planning. Uh, you can't just sort of jump into uh, onto a site and just start saying, well, let's put the, a tower here, right? You would have to kind of figure out, is, is a tower believable? Is it allowed in that site? Well, same thing would be true uh, from a building code analysis. Uh, you need to start having these sort of base ideas about, um, you know, you're, you're bef way before you start getting into, well, how big is the beam or anything like that, you would want to start to understand, well, what's my construction system and how big can I build it before I have to have uh, fire rated walls and how many exits am I going to need and, uh, you know, all of those kinds of things. That, how many bathrooms I'm gonna, am I going to need to put in? You know, all of the infrastructural stuff you would be thinking about at this early stage in order to make sure that the plans, when you start to move forward, have a logic about them and can support what's actually going to be allowed on that site. So the first two things that you look at are always going to be uh, the occupancy and the construction system. Uh, so the one word answer uh, is absolutely going to be either occupancy, so I'm just going to say O-U-C-C, uh, or use. It's kind of the same term, uh, you could use either one. Um, but the reason for that is that uh, if you start thinking about, like imagine you're, gonna, you're just starting a project and you're going you're gonna to sit down and you're like, well, okay, how big a project can it be? And you, you're, looking up, you know, you're looking at construction systems or something. Well, you can't really look at the construction system tables without understanding what the project is for. Uh, for example, if it's for a hospital, clearly they're going to be much more protective. They're going to the fire ratings are going to be much higher. The um, uh, kind of uh, size allowed for before you have to um, put in an exit, another set of exit stairs. Um, you know, all sorts of things are going to get driven by the fact that it's a hospital. And similarly, if it's a say. Um, storage building or something. It's going to be a whole bunch of things that are just not going to be on the table because it doesn't have very many people in it. There's no expectation that it would have a lot of uh, exiting needs. There's no expectation that it, you would have other fire rating issues because storage, who knows what people store. Um, but it, you would have a lot of other sort of flexibility in other uses, in other ways. So you would absolutely always start with occupancy. Uh, and then the second thing you would go to would be construction systems. Uh, and then from there, you start moving into how tall of a building, how big a floor plate, how, uh, how many bathrooms, all of that kind of stuff. But you would always start with those two things to make sure you're kind of going in the right track. Now, interestingly, because you may not know what construction system, uh, so you start with occupancy and you might do two or three different construction systems as an analysis through the, uh, through the building code uh, in order to sort of see where it leads you. Um, and that's always sort of one of those kind of interesting questions when it, you sort of move through the process and hopefully one sort of becomes the sort of logical, sort of uh, clear winner in that process. Um, so and just while we're, talking, while we're talking about these things, um, one quick thing I want to mention is uh, imagine that you are uh, using, uh, using this and you've gone through the, this process and you've looked at the occupancy and you've looked at the construction systems and it says something like uh, you can build 10,000 square feet per floor uh, for that combination in with whatever construction system it is, let's say it's steel. Uh, and your client is really stuck on having 14,000 square feet per floor. Uh, so that's my floor plate, 14,000 square feet. Uh, and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do. Like the code says, I can only build a 10,000 square foot building uh, per floor, and the client really wants the 14,000. Do I have to go back and tell the client no? Like, what's going on? Well, the answer is you're probably just going to put a building wall down the middle of it. And if there's, a, say, a corridor that's going through, uh, you're just going to put some doors in there that are held on hold opens, uh, and they just 
sit wide open. Nobody even really notices that that wall is there and it's probably a four hour wall. And so I effectively have two buildings. I have one that's, let's say, 4,000 square feet and one that's, say, 9,000 square feet. And that adds up to the 14. The client's happy, now, except they have to pay for this big building wall, um, which is a very expensive four-hour wall. But the point here is the terms are often used in interesting ways. Like the idea of a building has potentially many meanings when you're going through the building code. Uh, it's not just the overall overall structure, it can mean lots of different things and you want to start being attuned to how you use the code to be able to make an analysis. Uh, under 5.0, I can guarantee you there's going to be fairly lengthy uh, bits of code and you're going to have to sort of find the part that is uh, meaningful to this particular uh, question uh, and then kind of divine from that uh, an answer like what I just gave you. So uh, this is sort of about kind of thinking about the process occupancy, construction, then all the other construction type, and then all the other ones, but also starting to think about how you use those words and kind of what they mean. So you want to start practicing that stuff as best you can.